Hey everyone, welcome to Sketch Day Live. We are live on multiple platforms again because Facebook decided to not be ridiculous and claim that I did not have original content. Still refuse to go on Instagram though because they don't really have good monetization uh, helps, if you will, for creators. So don't mind the ads. It's part of the deal. It is li Liquid Thursday. It's been a hell of a day. Um, got inked again. We're, there we go. Got inked again. So, earning a little bit, but we're good to go. All right. So, I'm going to kick things off with a little bit of a warm up here. Let's zoom in. See where we're at. So, yesterday we did a bonsai tree that was requested by the amazing Lori. Thank you for your suggestion. I'm going to be taking your suggestions as well. Otherwise, I think I'll draw like house uh, maybe some architecture stuff i think would be interesting so we could theme it architecture but really the activity today is about it's about pen and ink drawing so that's what we're doing all right i do want to say before we start drawing thank you and shout out to the patrons feel free to drop any comments on the video itself or in the chat if you are watching after this broadcast, it absolutely helps. Hello, Don. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Shout out to Paul Stohi as well. Final Kaiju for the music. Making my own in the background as well. So thank you for that. All right. So let's keep going here. So we did these sketches yesterday's so bonsai tree. We talked about maybe, you know, types of stroke and so forth. I may do, I may do a little scribble game. Um, use this Strathmore uh, art paper. It's very thick, very resilient and hearty. I'm going to, I'm going to go back to just regular printer paper today because no one's making it rain for me besides myself. Hello everyone, DLWJR07 and Raul. Pen, what's up? That's a that's a cool YouTube name. Do you have your own channel, Pen? Shout out to Pen, what's up? I'm gonna warm up with some straight lines. I'm using a Pentel sign pen. I should mention as well that I just made available, like literally just made available my and an ink guide so you can check that out it is on sale and yes you might look at it and go holy crap that's 10 bucks but hey here's the deal it took me hours to put that together you're getting years of experience and knowledge and information for the cost of two cups of coffee so check that out if you want to support what i'm doing if not it's all good another way to do it actually i think it's a better way is become a channel member or patron and that way you will have access to not only the pen and ink guide, but the marker guide as well. All right, so if you haven't gotten BMVV, or is that BMW? You want to see a BMW? I could do that to warm up. That'd be fun. I'm going to shoot for about two or three sketches. Max, what's up? Hello. Thanks for joining. It's a little bit later than usual, but we do what we can. We do what we can here on the channel. Turns out uh, being creative on YouTube is, is not as lucrative as playing games. I've thought about playing chess. I've mentioned that before. I do okay at chess. That would be fun. You could just hang out and play chess. You could watch me get destroyed at chess. I am streaming on Twitch as well. So hello if you are watching on Twitch. Um, I don't think... I don't know if we have any viewers. But hello if you're watching. <laughs> Thanks for joining. You can check it out. I'm going to try and grow that a little bit too. So we're back to where we were. Facebook was being whiny about my content and claiming that I was not original. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? That is insane. All right. Before we get to the real drawing, I want to say shout out to the YouTube channel members and patreon supporters i appreciate your contributions if you don't know what that is that is a way for you to support your create creators in a monetary sense every month for as little as the cost of half a cup of coffee or whatever you want to donate really but great way to support your creators so check that out instagram unfortunately does not provide great ways to do that so 
they just get the results of what we do here. So lines, circles, and ellipses are how I like to warm up. Kids are delightfully distracted right now with their PlayStation 5. I tried to get an Xbox Series X today, but unfortunately everyone and their friends and family want to get one. So it turns out it's really hard to do. It's really hard to do. I think you meant BMW, is that correct? Okay, my Twitch says I've ha I have one f one viewer of my stream, but I've had 27 views. That's weird. That's weird. I don't know if that's over time or tonight. I'm Savage. Savage. There's a song for that. I don't know the lyrics, and I don't want to butcher it, so let's not go there. Let's just not go there. All right, some ellipses. Like I said, I'll probably do about three sketches. Um, if I don't get any reasonable suggestions, I will probably do some sort of structure, architectural sketch. And then, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be using my dip ink pens today. I did happen to find the larger nib pen. It's really fun to use for filling in areas. So I'm gonna use that as well. All right. Yeah, I do. I do stream on Twitch. I'm streaming right now as well. I don't think anyone's watching, but that's okay. It's all good. It's all good. All right. People keep trying to get me on the NFT bandwagon. I mean, I saw where one artist sold one piece of art for $69 million. I mean, that would be life changing. Um,. I understand the technology, but I don't understand the value proposition. And that's where I'm kind of hung up and struggling a bit. But if one of you can convince me, maybe I'll dip my toes in. Maybe. If you don't know what that is, it is, as far as I know, a certificate of ownership or at least credible representation of some meaningful share in your creator's artwork. It's, I mean, it's hard enough getting people to sign up on Patreon. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. This NFT thing is wild. Thank you, Roxana. All right. So we got some ellipses here. We got a request for a BMVV. I'm not sure if that's a BMW, but I'll do it anyways. We didn't really do a car this week. Robotic and hydraulic parts. I could, but am I going to? That is the question could draw a robot I guess all right so we'll start with two wheels here and just an ellipse and I'm gonna go with just this rough shape to start like so okay so it's a BMW so BMWs nowadays seem to be very very aggressive it's it's actually it's been interesting to to kind of see where they're going so i'm just using a pentel sign pen here the theme this week being pen and ink that's where we we wanted to focus so we're using just pen and ink to show stuff i'm using black ink but you're welcome to use colors if you so choose it's all good the thing with pen and ink, and I give some tips in my pen and ink guide, is you kind of have to be strategic about your strokes, where you put them, when you put them, how you put them, and so forth. Alright, so maybe something, maybe a little something something like that. Like that. I can even angle this grill ever so slightly. I forget. BMWs have, yeah, they've got vertical, vertical grills, right? So we can, can just dab that in. Boom, boom, boom. Like so. Like I said, it's Liquid Thursday unofficially because. Life's been interesting. I'll spare you the... Actually, no. I'll, I will give an update to the patrons. 
I'll give a more personal update, but uh, I'll just say life is interesting. Always. Life is always interesting. Alright, so there's my super quick warm-up BMW sketch. I think I'll do something architectural next, but I'm open to suggestions. Like, if you want to see more of a skyscraper, cabin, home, what would make sense to you? terms of what you want to see. But if I were sketching on BMW's current design language, it looks something like this. Just enormous grill, like ridiculously sized here. Add some little points to make that dark. And there you go. Um, to sketch like you, how long do I have to learn? I've been sketching for 15 plus years now. About 15 years plus now. Okay, architectural robot at a drafting desk designing a business. Oh, that could be interesting. All right. Maybe we'll do the building and then the robot designing the building. That could be cool. I'm open to that. So like I mentioned yesterday, there's a couple ways to work with ink. You can work with uh, something like a little brush pen here. This is a just a warm gray pen. So if I wanted to do a robot at a desk. All right, we've kind of got to set up the drafting table and then we'd have to set up our little robot actually drawing i think that would be the essential part here figure out okay what does the head of this this robot look like don't want to overthink it too much necessarily let's get a quick chair Sort of some sort of legs going on. Get that in. Right, just a couple, just a couple lines here. I'm keeping it loose because I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling loose. But uh, also just keeping it loose in general. All right. But you can use use this gray marker technique when you're not exactly sure of what you want to do and then just make sure that when you do kind of apply apply your black lines that you do have okay let's do a chair or something like that all right so we can do something like this it's a big big desk bigger desk i should say and we got some supports here all right cool Robot's leg is on a little support under the desk. So, super quick sketch, but we can use this. Dragon from the new movie. I don't know what the new movie is. What is the new movie? Is there a specific new movie? The only new movies I know of are uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. That's one. And then there is also... I gotta make sure this pen is dry. I've been kind of cleaning it up in some al some some isopropyl alcohol, just to kind of whoa refresh refresh the tip and the nib. Robotic chair sitting on a chair, maybe maybe so. That could be cool. All right, so I got the tip back in here. Some tips and a small tutorial on how to draw curly hair. That's a good request. I think that's probably something I would do tomorrow. So I'm Savage. If this is your first time joining, welcome. Thank you. On Fridays, I do a thing called Fan Friday. 
and that is where I show your work. So what would even be better is if you tried to do curly hair and then you presented that and I could go, oh, here's some areas where you could likely, likely improve. All right. That would be, that would be interesting. All right, so now I can dip in the ink start to sketch some of this out this is a this is a pen i found on um jet pens actually so this is a pen i found on jet pens it's like a manga inking pen but i like it because you can get a variety of line weights from the one pen if you're not used to kind of dipping your pen and recharging things it might feel a little bit annoying but i do like the ink it's very uh very black So let me start with something like so. So the idea behind this drawing is it's a robot designing like a, a building or something architectural. And then we'll draw the building that the robot is designing. So that was suggested by Don, I believe, correct? And I am using regular printer paper here. So it's not going to be the, the most resilient paper in terms of uh, holding up to the ink. I guess I could put the ink here so you can see it, but I'm actually using just like a, a well reservoir of ink for this sketch. What's up, Luke? How you doing? Long time no see. Nuno, hello, hello. New tattoo. Not a new tattoo. I, uh... I touched up an old tat, not an old tattoo, but one I got in December. So, went in today and got it uh, darkened a bit. Turns out that with dark skin, tattoos don't show up as well. So I had to go in and kind of get that, get that uh, darkened a bit. So that's what I did today. I don't enjoy the healing process. It takes a while and all that, but. How would you send me the drawings? Um, so, turns out I have a Discord. It's uh, sketchaday.com slash Discord, or you can check the video description. There's a link to the Discord there. And that's one way to do it. Just go to that website. You'll see the invite link should be there for the Discord. All right, so check that out. But yeah, I do, I do like these nib pens just because you get a good variety in your stroke as you're working with them. You can be super precise if you want. Right, or uh, fairly relaxed with things. <laughs> I 
Carrier gerbil. That would be that would be interesting. Imagine training gerbils to like carry mail for you. That would be wild. What brush or sets would I recommend? I would recommend brush set two, not because it's more expensive, but because it does include some uh, pattern brushes that, you know, if you're doing like stitches on a shoe or laces and then the like coarse shadow brushes and shading brushes, I think will save you some time. If you need a recommendation or I should probably add that to my site, like recommendations from real people. I'm terrible at marketing. I really am. I'm terrible at marketing, but I, I do believe that products that are good kind of sell themselves and um, I haven't had many complaints and if I've had complaints and, and one thing I do stand by Max is if you, if you do buy them and you're like, you know what? I don't like these. You can always email me. I haven't had it happen often. It's very rare, but you can email me and I'll go, okay, cool. I'll refund you. No worries there. So, if you're concerned about that, like, oh man, 20 bucks for these. And the way I like to think of it is, you've got to invest to be the best. So. If you spend 20 bucks on a brush, but it makes it so that you get more projects, it's kind of worth it, I think. And I've bought things like that in my life, whether it be hardware, camera gear, or whatever. Anyhow, this is fun. Just playing with this dip ink pen here. And like I mentioned yesterday, you can get these inks um, just at your local art store. Or you can get them online if you want. They're really fun to play with. The pens are very expressive. It's a different stroke than you're going to get from other pens. Now, the light tends to wash this out. But as I rotate the page, you'll see just how dark that ink is. It's really lovely. Really nice. I guess we've got to decide what the, what the structure is that this robot is working on you know what's what's the what's the structure here If you hate the sound of nails scratching on a chalkboard, I apologize. All right, so probably some piece of paper here fixed by tape. And if you're wondering why is he just drawing with ink the theme this week is pen and ink so that's what we're working on pen and ink is gestalt basically when looking gestalt looking at an artwork from a viewer perspective for sure i don't know um i've i've tended to understand it as white and black space, at least in a graphic design sense. So I don't know the answer to that one. Mecha art, but good question. Oh, there we go. That should sound better in terms of audio. I do want to show you this other pen though. I'm trying to think of the best way to do that. 
Like, do we shade the robot? Where is the legs on this table? So yeah, if you're looking for a different look for your work, I would suggest trying a different pen. Try something like like this dip ink calligraphic pen. I do realize in my inking guide, I don't specifically talk about calligraphic uh, dip dip ink pens, but principles are similar or the same so thank you don i'm glad you like the robot i like the robot he probably needs a name so feel free to pick a name for senior bot here so yeah apologies for the late stream i was actually chatting with adobe about a project um obviously can't say what but it's kind of chatting for a bit, so had to take care of that. All right, so the nice thing about working with the gray marker is now I can decide, hey, do I want to put that line where I drew it, or do I want to modify something? You know, we can modify things. I'm just going to add these as kind of just some background lines. Sketchbot model one zero one. I do want to show you this pen. So I'll show you this real quick. So this is a uh, dip pen, but it, it's meant to block in solid areas. So if I wanted to block in, say, a shadow on the ground here, you can just take this pen and now I have like a nice big nib that I can use to block this in. Now, this would probably be a mess. Right, but I get a nice wide, nice wide stroke here. Not as wide as if I use the brush. I could also dip a paintbrush in this, right, and get what I want. But this is it's kind of nice in the sense that oh, it's just it's just the same type of thing, ink nib. I can just fill that in. The brush itself, however, if we wanted to just dip into our ink here and then just paint in so a little bit quicker all right we can just kind of fill things in i'm just going to create a little boundary here so pen and ink you can do some fun you can do some fun stuff do some fun stuff with that all right so we haven't really decided what our structure looks like for the uh, house or building that this robot is designing but we can do that eventually i'm gonna go ahead and black in i have an idea i'm gonna see if this works but i have an idea I have an idea for shading, so I'm going to see if this works. All right, so my idea is to then take, take this finer nib. It's all cleaned off now. I have a little reservoir of, uh, I guess technically rubbing alcohol. It's just 70% alcohol. But from these solid blocked in areas now, if I want to create a little bit of a softer transition, I can use these lines now. I'm sketching it. Now, remember the ink is the same. One of the challenges you run into 
And I do mention this in the inking guide. One of the challenges you run into is, oh shoot, these are two different brands of pen. So the ink is gonna look different. How do I make sure that the ink looks similar enough? Sometimes you get lucky, but if you're using a dip pen, at least it doesn't matter what my implement is, that ink is going to look the same. All right, once it's dry. So that's kind of nice to have. What is Discord? Was that a picture for me? Any other apps I could send? You could uh, maybe try Instagram. I can't get to that during the stream though. So, um, but I'll try to remember if you do send it on in Instagram, sketchaday.com on Instagram, I can take a look later. All right, so we don't know what our dude here, our robo dude is sketching. We don't know. Be doing anything. All right, so I'll set this off to the side for a little bit. Let it dry. Let it dry. Do, 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 do. Now we'll draw a house. That's what we'll do. Draw a house. Sorry guys, if you're watching on Instagram, or sorry, not Instagram, Facebook, I'm not paying super close attention, but YouTube is where I typically pay attention to the chat. I just saw there were a bunch of comments. Christine, what's up? Hello. Um, thanks for watching. Christine says she likes how thin the lines are. What if he was drawing while a 3D printer made it? That could be interesting as well. What if it looked like it was printing on the paper? That's also interesting. What's up, Nate? Nate Smith. Hey. 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 All right. So let's do some sort of structure. So our, our robot here was designing a building of some sort. So I'm just going to start. I don't even, I don't know where this is going. I'm just going to establish some perspective. I guess if a robot were drawing it, it would, it would look more uh, purposeful and precise, but we'll just roll with it. Christine says it's all good. Thanks for watching, Christine. Um, YouTube is way better because that's where I kind of focus my conversational energies, but appreciate you watching on the the Facebooks. I used to stream on YouTube or sorry, Instagram as well, but that's a lot to manage and speak to, so this feels somewhat manageable. We got the YouTube, Facebook combination here. All right, I gotta figure out what is actually happening with the structure. I don't have a plan, like I don't have a floor plan. So I'm gonna go with wood on this side. Maybe skip two and then this can be like a little window or something. something like that and then on the front I mean okay this could be some sort of board and I'm really not sketching like an architect here sketching like an architect would require a different line so let's change it up I'm gonna do some different lines
different lines. Have you have you used calligraphic pens? I know uh, Mecha Art has. Mecha Art is watching on YouTube. I know you have. Um, I'm just curious. Has anyone used dip pens? Do you like them? Do you have any tips for me? Because I'm kind of just learning too. So horses around the house. Mm. <laughs> Maybe. Like, I don't draw horses a lot, so it makes me nervous hearing you request horses. But I also recognize, like, I've got to push myself. So we'll see. I'll just say, we'll see. Yeah, I forgot I put a lasagna into dinner <laughs> or in the oven, so I've got to get to that in a minute. Lasagna for the kiddo. It's his birthday. We do king for a week, so he demanded lasagna tonight. That's what we're doing. Lasagna. Yeah, I don't really know where this is going, so we're just gonna go with it. You know? I'm gonna go with it, maybe some sort of tallish tallish house thing. Use your elbow and hand to draw quick and smooth lines with the G pen. Hold the nib closer by the end part, and you can sketch far part. Oh, like this. Oh yeah. That's true. So Mecha Art's suggestion here was to hold the pen a little bit further away. I'm not using color in these sketches today, so this is where it gets a little bit interesting. Intentionally not using color and trying to create texture and so forth. It's a good suggestion though. And it's something that I've mentioned before on occasion. I guess we'll make this wood. Something I mentioned before on occasion that, you know, the better and more comfortable you are with your your pen, you'll start to hold it a little bit further back from the nib, from the tip. So appreciate that mecha art, thank you. Hey, Latrice, what's up? Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for joining and being a part of the show. But you already know. It's a weird structure because it's like super tall. I'm guessing three stories is probably what it would be. So maybe here there is just a corner window or something. Maybe some sort of garage door situation here. Something like that. Mm. 
I mean, I don't know that there's many architects that use dip ink pens, honestly, but I figure why not? Could be fun. And who knows, maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe there's a reason for that. Who knows? Let me see if anyone's any tips on how to fill a sketchbook. You just do it. I don't have any better tips than that, really. You just do it. You just get it done. Okay, on Twitch, I have zero viewers. Zero. So sad. So sad and pathetic. <laughs> but it's all good. I'm actually not beat up about that. We're working on some stuff, though. I should mention as well. Um, I'm not sure if Lions is watching, but we're working on kind of an alert system for uh, people who want to opt into it. So if you want to just make sure you don't miss a stream. All right. If you want to make sure you don't miss a stream, we are working on making it so that you can opt into alerts. All right, so basically that just means anytime I go live, you would get a Discord notification. All right, so you would know we've had some people complain like, oh, shoot, we didn't know you were, you were live. And, you know, I get it. You don't want to miss your, miss your person going live. I follow people. I don't want to miss them either. I get it. I guess now I'm going to have to texture this whole thing. <laughs> That's all right. We got time. How are we doing? 45. I'll probably wrap here quick. Keep it a short stream. Keep it chill. Keep it, keep it trill. Uh, but definitely tomorrow is where you want to tune in because that is fan friday i'm going to be looking at the discord to see what the heck have you guys been up to this week and make sure that i kind of feature your work your sketches all right so if you if you want that if that's something you're interested in first of all tune in but second of all definitely submit on a discord in the weekly sketch challenge channel or show your work all right show us what you got i'm going to be featuring anything that is done with pen and ink all right i think next week the theme i'm going to be picking unless someone has an objection and a really damn good reason is chrome we're going to be doing chrome Lots of shiny, chromey things. The reason for that is it gives you a chance to practice reflections. All right. Learn how those work. Learn yourself something. What am I going to be sketching on tomorrow? Tomorrow is like whatever you post, I'll kind of put on screen and make some corrections. So it's kind of like a an interactive feedback session, but also whatever you request. So if someone's like, hey, can you draw a blueberry? I will try and draw a blueberry, for example.
So that's kind of how it works on Fan Friday. All right, and again, if you're looking for additional help with pen and ink drawing, I love pen and ink. You can check out my website, sketchaday.com. You'll be transported to the store initially, but there you will find options for supporting what I do. So check it out. Check it out now! I command you. Just kidding. I don't command you, but I do love using dip pens. It's a lot of work, but it's it's pretty fun too. So Okay, that lines off, but we're not gonna pay attention to that fact, okay? That's our little secret. That is our little secret. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Christine holding it down on the Facebook. Thank you, Christine. I'm promoting you to number one Facebook fan slash stream watcher. You've been officially promoted, so thank you. Maybe I could do tutorials from a book. Hmm. That would be interesting. Okay, so here's the Discord, Christine. I don't usually post on... I don't usually post on uh, Facebook, but because you've been solid, you've been participating and commenting, come join us on Discord. Here's here's why. Not because I'm awesome at everything, because that's not the case. There are tons of like super talented creative people there. So if you have a question, um, if you have a request, whatever. You can usually post it there and get some sort of response or feedback, whether from me or others. Great place to be, though. I think. Just do some some stuff inside here, but uh, great place to be. Check it out, sketchaday.com/slash/discord. Christine, our number one Facebook fan. It's an honor. Thank you. It's an honor having you. Hold down the stream. One of four people <laughs> watching. Hello, Manju. You only need to say hello once. Pro tip. You only need to say hello once. You say it again, you're banned. Uh, Latrice, hello. Thank you. I mean, it's not a new tattoo so much as... Ooh, that's gross. It's like bleeding and stuff. Um, it's like, I do sell my prints, Nate, um, and more so original sketches is what I sell. I'm not on the whole NFT thing yet. I was kind of talking about that. I think it's a, it's a phase of fad. There's no freaking way. I, yeah, maybe I, I might need to do a whole stream on NFT, but I think there are some significant inef inefficiencies. And it supports one of my design principles. Never underestimate people's inability, people's ability to go with whatever. It's, it's been a wild time. Something sold for $69 million today from someone who historically has only sold a print of their work for a hundred bucks. All right. So I think I think it's gonna be a fad. I think it's gonna be a bubble. I think a lot of people are gonna lose from it, but I don't know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I guess I could live stream, create an NFT, and then if the NFT doesn't do well, then it's better. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's okay. Your life's probably better for it anyways. But humans are freaking ridiculous. Tell you what. Freaking ridiculous. Please don't say a banana. 
Uh, prints, originals. Yeah, so I sell original sketches um, from the stream. Usually anywhere from 25 to 50 bucks a piece. That's what I do. And I, I say that not to flex on you guys, but just to be transparent and open about it. If I'm going to part with, with my work, that's what it's worth. Because the reality is you can do whatever you want with it. I mean, I'll still take $69 million if you want to go there, but even then, I don't think my work's worth that much, so. Am I selling myself short? Probably not. Probably not. I don't know. I mean, if I were watching a stream, I don't know if I'd buy these two, but if you've seen... If you've seen Something in the past that you want, let me know. I, I usually have it, or at least I can print a high-quality version of it. That's also an option. Probably a little bit cheaper as well. It's hard to part with an original. And that's the thing with NFTs is you're not really getting the original. You're getting a claim that says, Hey, here's my place in line for this thing. But it's really not. It's not real. It's really not. Christine says, don't devalue yourself. Oh, okay. I thought you said you were devaluing myself. I was like, oh, okay. Maybe I'll sell for more. No, I've sold one piece of artwork for as much as five figures. I will say that. Um, but I've also sold for as little as two figures. So What's up, Manju? Uh, Prince, Originals, Manju, what's up? Time in India. 6, 11 a.m. Crazy. Um, I'm glad you feel inspired. I'm glad you feel inspired to try something. You know, that's all I can really ask for is that you feel somewhat inspired to do something. I didn't really go into this house sketch with a plan, I will say, I will admit, but we did get three three sketches kind of done today. So that's, I think that's, that's pretty cool. Let's use Mecha Art's tip. He said, hold the pen a bit further from the nib, and then you can really get to those areas. So if you notice, I'm holding the pen very far up the shaft of the pen. It allows me to get a little bit further up than I might be able to otherwise. But yeah, if you haven't yet, try out. Please do. Get a dip ink pen. If you love pen and ink like I do, just get one. Try it out. See how you feel about it. I think it's very expressive, free, freeing. You can do some interesting things. There's different nibs you can try as well to give different feel different brands there's so many things you can do so just try it out see how you like it all right quick recap oh and we got to finish finish our robot sketching the house so we designed our house here i got some bleed through because i'm using cheap paper so we designed our house we had a robot drawing the house so let's draw the house that the robot's drawing which is basically Taking this sketch or something very much like it and positioning it so that our robot is drawing drawing it this is gonna be it's gonna be interesting I'm going to have to simplify this a little bit. Like, I'm not going to do the whole wood texture on this one, but just enough to make it seem like, oh, the robot's designing the house that we just drew.
some clouds in here and trees. A little bit different, but you know, things change in design. It's okay. It's all good. But there's our sketch of a robot designing the house that we just sketched. All right. Nate says, once I went UX drawing kind of got lost. Yeah, I've done I've done UX design for companies. I've done strategic design thinking. Um, I won't forget little man's lasagna, Christine. No worries. Um, I've done a lot of different design activities. I've done video production, illustration, all sorts of stuff. So um, it's all good. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. Kept it a little bit simple. Let's do a quick recap. So we did our car sketch obligatory for the car stands car fans you know got to keep it real for you guys so there you go some sort of bmw-esque sketch we also did our robot sketching a house and then the house that the robot was sketching so three sketches we are like six sketches deep on pen and ink tomorrow i'll be back with a bit more we'll keep it short Keep it tight, not short so much. Keep it tight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Nate. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Thanks for joining, man. <laughs> I remember now. I remember. That's awesome. I hope you're doing well, brother. Good to see you here. Thanks for supporting. Um, Nate and I used to work at a company. I won't name the company, but a smart home company. It is an interesting place to be. I learned a lot of hard lessons. Um, they have a lot of growing to do and growing up to do. I will say that. That's all I will say and all I am legally allowed to say, but because I signed some stuff. But uh, yeah, they've got they've got some work to do. So much appreciated. Thank you for watching and hanging out with me with these drawings. All right. If you do want to get better, though, Nate and others, one thing I always recommend is, yeah, we're going to chrome it out, Christine. Don't worry. One thing I recommend is if you learn something, share something. So take what you learned, maybe put your own twist on it and then try and share it with someone. And that'll give you an opportunity to integrate that knowledge. All right. It'll give you an, an opportunity to integrate that knowledge and... When you have to deconstruct something, it, it, it helps you understand it more. So if you like the stream, if you learned something, definitely share it. Shout out again to the patrons, channel members, and all of you for watching, frankly. But um, it does mean a lot when you financially contribute. So you can check that out, patreon.com slash sketchaday, or just hit the join button on YouTube. That's another way to do it. If you happen to do that and you haven't collected your reward, hit me up. You either get stickers or a free PDF book. But you also get access to guides. And then after two months of being a supporter, access to all my brushes. I think it's the better deal. So, and also behind the scenes videos, updates, and so forth. So, with that, much love, everyone. Take care. Thank you. Happy Thursday. Remember, passion is a process. And I will see you guys next time on Sketch Today. And next time happens to be tomorrow morning for Fan Friday. So, definitely tune in and check that out. Take care, everyone. Peace.